Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for Craft Supplies 1. Julie has both a Zibit and Etsy store, and I will put the links to both stores in the description box below. She's always running great sales, and her prices are really good, so I hope you check it out. This month, we're excited because we are doing a cross-promotion with Gina's Designs. So I will link Gina's information in the description box as well, along with this trinket box that I used from her store. This is a seven inch square box, super cute. As you can see, it has the bracket shape and it is about three and a quarter deep. And it's made from one eighth inch hardboard, so it's really thick, it's really nice quality. Um, construction super easy to put together and normally I try and do a start to finish on my projects however I've been working on this box on and off for a couple of weeks I've been working on it in stages so it was a little hard for me to do a process video so I will walk you through what I did here I used the Prima printery stack in 6x6 and as you can see I've used the entire collection on this I even used um, a couple pieces from the ledger stack by Prima that matched well with this and that's what you see on the side here I used a bunch of new flowers from craft supplies one Julie has a ton of new flowers in her store and all of these here are new so I used a large pink flower here and it came with some leaves so I just cut that apart and added them over here I used a few leaves here and I like that they're wire they have wire in them so you can kind of bend them how you want make it very dimensional so these here are really pretty these came from a spray along with the pearls and I cut this apart and used it throughout so like here's the pearls here and then the leaves here and then these new blue flowers I thought were went perfect with this collection and I added a rhinestone buckle from my stash along with a pearl and then this large flower here is a single flower there's also I tucked a little lollipop flower back there this was super fun to make here is some of Julie's acrylic wheat spray And on the front of the box, I used some Prima Say It in Pearls and then some more of those flowers that Julie has. And then on the side there, I used two more of those flowers. The other two sides are blank. So I painted the entire box black, as you can see. I did add two coats of gesso first and then two coats of paint. And inside is a mini album I use some of the paper collection on the inside as well and this album is a 5x5 five five album I did finish the inside of the box I painted it all black and then added paper from the collection so this box is great for embellishments it's great for mini album anything you want you can do with this box so it's very versatile and then my mini album I use some of Julie's trim on the side I love this it went perfect with the collection I added three rows of that I added a little bow that I cut from the cameo and one of Julie's little ivory flowers in there on the front here I used a large flower that I had and two smaller ones that I had in my stash I added the rosebuds that I got from craft supplies one along with these ivory flowers and more of those leaves again it the collection it went perfect with. I cut out a, two little clock hands from the collection from using the cameo and a little heart. And from this same spray that the leaves came in, I added more pearls. I do have a tutorial on how I make my mini albums, so I will link that in the description box as well. It's the exact same way that I do my larger albums, I just scaled it down. So again, this is a five by five mini. And I'll just quickly go through this. I have some tags. I used more of the flowers. So a little bit of seam binding. I made a little envelope. There's a couple tags from the collection in here. And this is one of the uh, rhinestone or um, resin hearts from Julie Shop. I love these. A few more tags placed behind there. So photos can be placed in journaling. And all of my pockets have a little bracket pull-out mat that more photos can be placed. So 
So even though this is a tiny album, it will hold a lot of photos. Here I have a um, pocket on the side with some seam binding, a couple mats. Another one here using that gorgeous trim and her flowers. Here's another one here. I used the flower mesh bling on the side. And on this one I have some, some of Julie's lace along with that flower mesh bling as well. So that is my entire album along with the box. Um, I hope you follow along and check out all the other design team members. We're all using Gina's designs in our projects this month. So links will be in the description box below. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.